Hi everybody, welcome to Know Your PC, I'm Bob. And I'm Malou, and today we're here to show you some tips and tricks for your HP TouchSmart PC, the IQ500 or 800 series. This of course is an all-in-one PC, and the cool thing about it, it's optimized for touch. So, here is your mouse. Your mouse is fun, it's great, and it has lots and lots of uses, but dun, 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 we're gonna <laughs> add a new mouse. It's your finger. A lot of people are wondering, can we use the ability to touch in other applications? And the yes, answer is? is Yes, resounding yes. <laughs> Not every application, of course, but have fun, try, explore. I'm gonna show you a couple that do use touch. I'm gonna press the start button, and I'm gonna go to all programs, and then I'm gonna go down to accessories, and under accessories is paint. So now we're gonna paint with our fingers. You don't have to use your mouse, you don't have to use a little pen, you can use your finger. So I'm gonna get a nice thick brushness so you guys can see, and you guys are falling asleep. You guys love the HP Touch Smart. You can play around with that, different colors, different kinds of, uh, you know, paint brushes and stuff like that. But there it is. You can use your finger in paint. So I'm going to close this out. Another program that you can use your touch with, under Start, go to All Programs. And go down until you find Microsoft Works. Highlight Microsoft Works. And at the bottom you'll see Microsoft Works Word Processor. And click on that, and up will become the Word Processor. And I will show you by getting the input panel out. All right, I'm gonna press tools, and I'm going to dock at the bottom of the screen. Ooh, look how big nice. the input panel is. And now I can use my hand to write. Hello. Malou, very nice. Nice uh, handwriting you have there. Thank you. Nice penmanship. <laughs> Fingermanship. It figures it out down here. It reads my handwriting. <laughs> then you just push insert. It recognizes your handwriting. If you write legibly. If you write legibly. <laughs> but if you don't, you can always go back and erase. And one last thing I'll show you guys is if you press start, uh, I'm going to open up a couple folders. I'm going to open up the picture folder. I'm going to press start. I'm going to open up the document folder, OK? And we're going to drag and drop. Simply put your finger on the screen and then drag it up over the folders you want to drag and drop. Here we go, we're dragging them in to this new folder. Cool. Perfect, right? Yeah. Easy peasy. So those are a couple things, but again, have fun, explore. It doesn't work every time, but it works a lot of the time, all right? All right, so now I'm gonna show you another tip here. Some people have been launching their HP TouchMart application and coming up with this screen that says something like this. It says HP TouchMart requires Windows Arrow. If you see this, that means you maybe you accidentally turned it off or someone else turned it off, but you need Windows Arrow to launch the HP TouchMart application. Right. So I'm gonna show you how to turn that back on. We will close right down here. The finger is now the uh, new mouse here. Okay, right. so you can right click on the mouse or you can touch the screen. When you touch a screen, you will see the circle, let go, and then you will see personalize. You touch personalize. From there, you will go to window color and appearance. You want to select Windows arrow, then touch OK. Then you're going to wait after that. Now you may have to reboot. Sometimes you don't have to, so you can tell if you have to reboot if you try to launch again and you don't see the HP TouchMart application. So right. let's see if that worked. We will touch the house here in the bottom right corner and launch the HP TouchMart application. There we go. You're ready to go again. Another useful tip for you are the tutorials that are preloaded on the HP TouchMart PC. You will find those here in the lower tiles section. And we have 360 degree tour. We also have tutorial basics, tutorial music. So have fun with those. But if you want more tutorials, you can find those at youtube.com slash touchmart. So we'll take you there right now. I'm going to launch the browser here and touch right there. So we have youtube.com slash touchmart in our favorites. So we're gonna go ahead to my favorites, scroll up there. Thank you, Bob. There you can see we have uh, Know Your PC, some of our videos there. Also, in the TouchSmart tutorials, there are all sorts of other ones in there, including ones on how to add tiles and delete tiles. Also, how to use uh, the input panel. Okay, so tutorials there for you. And while we're here on the web, I want to bring uh, attention to you guys, a couple extra websites. One of them is, I will go to My Favorites, and I will launch HP Support Forums. Now, this is hp.com slash support slash consumer dash forum, okay? And this is a place where consumers and experts can get together and answer questions, ask questions, give advice, you know, talk about experiences for all things HP. But in particular, we're talking TouchSmart, right? Right. So down here under desktops and monitors, you'll see TouchSmart PC. So I'll click there and you can see there's already conversations going on around, you know, different questions and, you know, experts are getting on there and answering questions. And if you have one, you can start your own question out there and hopefully you'll get some good advice. And another place that you can go, 
and we have it under my favorites already, is touchsmartcommunity.com, all right? Now here, there's third-party applications that you can download and start using with the HP TouchSmart PC. You can also, if you are a developer, you can upload your own, but you can you know, check out and see what's going on with HP TouchSmart PC you know, and see what other people are creating because it's a lot of fun and you don't have to just get limited to uh, you know, what HP's putting out. Some other people put out some really fun stuff too. So check out those websites and have a good time. There you have it, just a few tips and tricks for your HP TouchSmart PC. If you'd like more information, you can also check out some of the tutorials that we were just showing you by logging on to youtube.com slash touchsmart. That's right, or you can always go to hp.com slash support slash consumer dash forum. Good job. All right, <laughs> nice work. Thanks for everybody for watching. I'm Bob. And I'm Lou. We will see you later.